try and demonstrate electronic systems. Electronic systems are classed as devices that have three specific parts to it. It's got an input, a process, and an output. Now, we have been looking at input devices and output devices so far. This brings the two of these together with a process device that takes the information that the input device supplies, processes it in a certain way, and gives us a required output. It could be a buzzer, or it could be a lamp as some kind of warning or indication that something's happened. Now, the process devices that we're going to be using next week, not and in all, I'm not going to say too much about them today, but we are just going to very briefly show you how these electronic systems, these basic electronic systems, do work. Now, I have several input devices. I've got a slide switch, a light sensor, or LDR, a remote sensor that we won't be using, a temperature sensor, or thermistor, and a push switch. Output devices, like I said, we have a buzzer and a lamp. We also have a relay, but that's for another day. Now, just to demonstrate how these process devices take information and give us a required output, I might want to know, for example, when the light level drops. So if I switch this on, these little LEDs indicate whether there's a signal or not. So when I switch this on, the light sensor is sensing that there is light. And at the moment, there is no indication from an output device that the light level is at the required level that I want to be notified about. But if I put my finger over the top of it and decrease the light level, this process device takes the information that the light level has dropped and switches on the buzzer. So it's alerting somebody to the fact that it's now dark outside. Now, just as easily, I can attach it to the lamp. Not as easy. And the lamp comes on. But I prefer the buzzer. And run again. Still works. Now, I can redefine, redefine, I can redesign this circuit, again, using one of these logic gates, sorry, these process devices that we will get to next time. That's, shut up, that's switching on when it is dark, but maybe I want to switch it on when it's actually light. And if I do that with the aid of these, I need to cover that up. So depending on what the job is that you want it to do, I'll just stick that up there. So at this moment in time, I've chosen a different process device. Again, like I said, we will go over these next week. It's dark at the moment. This LDR is indicating there is no light level and the buzzer's not sounding. So it could be an example of, I don't know, somebody who needs to get up when the sun gets up. So at the moment, they're sleeping, it's dark, sun rises, and the buzzer sounds. Quite annoying that. I'm just gonna power that down for a minute. There we go. Also, for the buzzer, and just to demonstrate one of the other input devices, which is the thermistor, which is down here, temperature sensor. So I might want, at the moment, this temperature sensor is off. Whoops, it is it. At the moment, this temperature sensor's off. I have too many wires, that's going there, that's fine. So I might want to be told when it's cold. I might have a pet outside. Leave it out in the garden, but I want to know when it gets too cold. So if I put that between my fingers and I warm it up, the thermistor comes on. If I attach it to my buzzer at the moment, it's nice and warm outside, the pet's absolutely fine, but once it gets cold, and that will decrease shortly. Bear with me. I've obviously warmed it too much, my room's too warm. There we go. Temperature drops, the buzzer sounds. Now, also, what I'm going to be looking at or showing you shortly is whether or not devices are classed as analog or digital. 
Now, these output devices, the buzzer and the lamp, are classed as digital. Digital means they have one of two settings, either they're on or they're off. So these are digital devices. These two input devices, the light sensor and the temperature sensor, they have many different settings. They can be adjusted to many different light levels, many different temperature settings, and they're classed as analog. But I'll be going over that at another date.